Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an excellent Pabia enthusiast with decades of business experience. Translating numbers from one currency to another currency is commonly required at work. Occasionally, people may get confused as they are not sure if the numbers that they see are in Euro, US dollar, etc. So to avoid confusion, it is best practice to always display the relevant currency. In this video, I want to show you how to build a dynamic spreadsheet that can translate prices in AUD or Australian dollar over here into multiple currency depending on what we select. For example, I'm selecting US dollar and look at that everything is updated to US dollar and then I'm selecting New Zealand dollar and everything is updated to New Zealand dollar and then we can also select a different currency. We are going to build this spreadsheet from scratch in this page. Let's do it step by step. All right, let's recreate our spreadsheet from scratch. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have an exchange rate table where we specify one local currency, in our case, Australian dollar, is equal to how much of the foreign currency. I have euro, US dollar, etc. over here, and I have put in the exchange rate. The next thing is to define the currency options over here. I'm going to highlight and make sure you have that dotted line there highlighted as well. And then just type exchange rates. We are defining name range, okay, in that box over there. Once you have done that, go to your currency from scratch and let's create drop down box in here so that instead of having to type the exchange rate, we can just use that drop down box. To do that, go to data and then click data validation in here and then change that any value into list and then type equal exchange rates and watch this voila there is drop down box where you can select whatever currency that you want and if you want to add more currency just insert it above the dotted line and then type yen for example which is japanese yen and watch this now you have more selection yeah and if you change your mind you don't need yen anymore very simple just delete it and when it's deleted, look at that, it also disappears from our list. Next step is to look up the rate. Just use XLOOKUP, open bracket. We are looking for Euroi from our table using that to search. And that column, let's drag that over there, which is the output or return array. And then close the bracket. And we are done. Let's test it. US dollar, correct. New Zealand and rupiah, Indonesian rupiah. Very good. Next, we are going to create dynamic heading, something like this, where if we select different currency, the heading changes over here. How do we do that? Just go to the headings and type equal, open inverted commas, price in close inverted commas and then end the currency yeah. oh it looks ugly it's too close enter space and then let's test that voila all done next let's translate the prices from aud to new zealand dollar multiply that with the fx rate and then add dollar dollar so that we can click and drag the shortcut button f4 will help you to do that yeah and then just do that all done What's missing in here is we can't see NZ dollar sign over there. And when we flick it to Euro, whilst the heading is in Euro, that is not clear that this is in Euro. How do we add the sign? To show Euro over here, when Euro is selected, go to conditional formatting, hit new rules, use formula to determine which cell to format. And then we say if E4 is equal to Euro, and then apply this formatting, click format over there, and then go to accounting, and then change the symbol and look for euro. It's somewhere there in the middle. Yeah. 
okay and then after that hit okay and you get a preview over there yeah so that is at the back okay so with this preview if you click okay look at that you can see the euro is applied at the back how do we move it to the front to move it to the front go back into the conditional formatting and then hit manage roles and then in here let's edit the role okay we are going to change the format click format and then hit custom and in here you can see that that's the euro sign okay we're going to simplify we're going to just show euro like that and you can see in the preview, it's still at the back. And we're going to delete everything. And simplify that. And cut. Control X. And then paste. Put that at the front of the numbers. Okay. Like that. Oops. It's not happy. What you need to do is make sure the euro sign is put within inverted commas so let's replace that square bracket with inverted commas so you've got the euro now over there okay so now hit okay look at that the euro is now in front so let me just explain to you this format one more time this formatting applies to positive number if you have negative number then you want to enter a semicolon yeah and then you enter that and then put negative in there and then the zero formatting, you enter one more semicolon, and then you can put that as well in there. And for example, I like to see dash when it's zero. So let's do that. Yep. And watch this. Hit apply. And then hit OK. Look at that. Now it's in front. And then let's test that. When we put negative in here, look at that. You can see the negative there. And then if it's zero... For example, you still see that as well. All right, now I'm going to undo, undo, so that we are back to the original. Done the euro. Let's check when we select US dollar, the euro sign disappear. But how do we make US dollar sign appear in front of our numbers? Same thing, go to conditional formatting, click new roles, and then select use formula to determine which cell to format. And then in here, Format values when this formula is true, type US dollar in there, E4 equal, open bracket, USD. Yeah. So it's saying when USD is selected, apply this format. We can recycle what we have done earlier. So earlier we have applied the Euro. And then instead of Euro, we're going to type in USD like that. Yeah. And we need to do it for the negative and we need to do it for the zero. Like that. And then hit OK. OK. And look at that. Now we can have Euro and USD. All right. How about the other currency, NZD? Same concept. Go to conditional formatting and then hit new roles. You got the idea now type equal to nzd remember you need the inverted commas and then for the format hit custom and then just go to the very end that was the most recent one that we use and then just recycle nzd and then we are doing it so that it's all neatly formatted for all positive negative and the zero and then hit okay okay look at that the last one is IDR, exactly the same concept. Conditional formatting, new roles, use formula. When that is equal to IDR, and then format, and then click custom. Go to the very last one to get what we recently apply, and then just recycle that. IDR. Indonesian rupiah and as mentioned earlier the positive formatting the negative and the zero and then hit OK now make that a bit bigger so that you can see the formatting yeah now everything works but how about the rest of the column all you need to do is double click it and look at that everything works
Next, let's calculate the sales, which is unit sold, time price, and then copy down, and then sum it to get total sales. And if we want the same format to be applied, all we need to do is just format paint it like that. And voila, when we have different currency selected, everything is updated. And I'm going to add that line back and try it one more time. Look at that. How neat is this? I really hope that you enjoyed the video and we'll get to apply them in your day to day life. See you next time.